Today's video is going to be real classy. Not only will I be serving hot chocolate, I'll also be serving looks. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to The Station Bakery. If you're new here, I'm Coco and on my channel I like to share tips, tricks, treats, and trends. So if that's something that you are interested in, keep it classy and hit that subscribe button. I'll be walking you through how I made this beautiful, gorgeous, classy, fun, delicious, hot chocolate bomb charcuterie board. So for this charcuterie board, I am starting off with these very bright, very classy green Christmas tree marshmallows. <laughs> and I am covering up with my breakable Christmas tree. If you have not seen my video on how I created this breakable Christmas tree, be sure that you keep it classy and check it out here. So now I am just arranging my charcuterie board how I think I would want things to flow and look. I am mixing big sizes with small sizes and just trying to line everything up that would be visually appealing. Here I am filling in one of my ramekins with red velvet hot chocolate. Again, this is a classy charcuterie board, so we have to take it up a step. And in the other ramekin, I am filling it in with cinnamon roll hot chocolate mix. Now, you know, sometimes when being classy, you know, it can get a little rough. Um, so here I'm just cleaning up my mess. I am left handed. I was trying to be classy and, you know, normal and regular and average and use my right hand. And that just didn't work out for me. So I made a mess. Whoopsies. <laughs> And here we are. I just could not wait for this part to add in the marshmallows. Marshmallows are a big part of hot chocolate, at least for me and my family. We love to use marshmallows in everything. Not really everything, but in hot chocolate, we love marshmallows. So I am putting it in two places, a big bowl and a small bowl, just to give a difference in looks. Now I am lining up these peppermint chocolate snow men. So the real key when baking a charcuterie board is just seeing what you have and then trying to find a flow on the board for it all to look good and make sense as well. And four of my cute holiday classy hot chocolate bumps and I'm just going to evenly lay them out at the top of my breakable Christmas tree. Charcuterie boards are so fun and so easy to do and that is why I love them. As you're creating the board, if you place something somewhere and you feel like it doesn't go, you can easily just move it around and you just find those spaces to fill to where your products and your items will look the best and be the easiest to reach. Because this is a hot chocolate bomb charcuterie board, of course I have to bring in my two jumbo sized hot chocolate bombs. Here I have cinnamon roll and my sticky bun hot chocolate bombs. At the bottom, I'm adding a smorgasbord. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know. Of the Lotus Biscoff cookies. These cookies are to die for, absolutely amazing. And I believe that they just go perfectly with hot chocolate. Now I am adding my custom made, don't judge me, my custom made chocolate covered pretzels and chocolate covered pretzels with marshmallows. These are so fun and easy to make and just add to that hot chocolate bomb flavor. You can use them as stirs in your hot chocolate and it just all tastes so good together. Topping it off with a few peppermint candy canes on the side and then just going in with any of those empty spaces and filling it in with more of those Hershey Kisses. I am now taking my small, cute little pitcher and filling it up with a batch of fresh milk. You can't make hot chocolate bombs without milk. Well, you can, but I like milk. <laughs> so here's going in. I'm adding in my final touches, just trying to see if anything can be moved around or anything can be adjusted or changed or added, which is what's really great about these charcuterie boards is that you can adjust them and make them look however you like. Them. 
Now to top it off, I'm here and I'm adding in, no, 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 just kidding guys. I am adding in <laughs> two wooden mounts because this is a breakable tree that I have here in the middle which will release all of the beautiful, colorful green Christmas tree marshmallows. And here we have our completed board, guys. If you love this board and if you think I did an excellent job at keeping it classy and cute, be sure that you give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you know when I post my next video. You don't want to miss out. Also, guys, I am very appreciative, to, appreciative for each and every one of you. The new year is getting ready to roll in. So please let me know in the comments below what are some things that you would like to see from me and on my channel coming up in the next year. As always, guys, much love and appreciations. And until next time, peace. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. I know that charcuterie boards are usually made with meat, but again, like I said, this is going to be a classy video, so I needed a classy word, and what better word than charcuterie? I mean, think about it, charcuterie, board, charcuterie, hot chocolate bomb, board, that sounds real boring. So I went with hot chocolate charcuterie board.